Welcome, my friends, to the Bob and Brad podcast, produced by Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. I am Bob, and uh, exactly one half of the Bob and Brad team. And my guest today is Dr. Joseph Allen, an optometrist from Minnesota, by the way. And he has a great YouTube channel called Dr. I Held. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about his background, but he's got a lot of great advice for you. If you have one or two eyes, I would check it out. Thanks for watching. Well, this next topic is um, is an option that's always offered to me when I buy glasses, and I didn't know what they were, or hmm. what it is. It's anti-reflective coating. coating. Yeah. So I always thought, oh, is it like an undercoating for a car? I mean, it's a, a scam or... <laughs> No, it's a, it's a good question. I think, you know, again, that's part of the reason why I started my YouTube channel was to help educate people what these things are and the options that are available. Because right. if you're not, if you're not in the optical world, if you don't, you have no idea. Um, yep. And so I, I wanted to break things down and literally show people what it is they could be investing in. Uh, so anti-reflective or non-glare coating is a real thing in the optical world. And it's not just eye care and glasses, this anti-reflective coating is on the all the camera lenses. Uh, if you buy a high-end camera, DSLR camera, they're on those camera lenses. Mm. They are even on the camera lenses in the cell phone that you have. Uh, on the webcam I'm using right now, these anti-reflectives are on there too. The, the big issue with all reflectile, any sort of glass, like uh, you have light that hits the front surface of the glass, it bounces off. But then the light also penetrates through that glass and the back surface of the glass, light ref also reflects off that black surface because it's a change of interface. And that can not only cosmetically not look good. So if you're wearing glasses that don't have anti-reflective and you're like outside and lights and everything, people are just gonna see these reflections bounce off your glasses. They won't sure. be able to see your eyes. So there's a cosmetic benefit for it, but then optically uh, you will get more light information to your eyes and you usually notice less glare, uh, less kind of whitewashing of colors. Uh, and you typically are going to see sharper through those lenses. It's, a, I think the downside of anti-reflective, especially like like you said, if you go to buy glasses and you you feel like maybe, is this a real thing? Am I just being right. upsold something? Right. Uh, there's a, a claim that these lenses will help you see better at nighttime and you'll have less problems with headlights. Now, I kind of personally kind of love hate that analogy because it, it is true. I think everybody has trouble with headlights <laughs> and yes, when they're driving exactly. at nighttime. Exactly. I think if you're somebody who doesn't need glasses, Having glasses with an anti-reflective on it isn't going to necessarily get rid of those that glare or problem with headlights. It's not going to do that. But if you're somebody who does wear glasses and if you had to compare without anti-reflective to with anti-reflective, uh, you are probably going to have less symptoms, not of the headlights straight ahead of you, but headlights off to your side because the light coming in at obtuse angles is going to bounce off those lights and reflect back um, and that's going to cause more of a disturbance, but it's not as dramatic as a lot of the marketing companies make it out to be. Sure. That's the one issue I have with it, but uh, the anti-reflective is a real thing and it does help you. And there's different options out there too now, um, because you can have anti-reflective with blue light filters. You can have uh, anti-reflectives that do more scratch protection. You can have um, anti-reflectives that really help like 30% less reflections versus a standard one. So there's different options out there. Yeah, actually, if you go to Dr. Allen's channel, his YouTube channel, Dr. Eye Health, um, I, I saw one point where you were comparing one to another. I mean, mm -hmm. anti-reflective against not. And it was quite a difference. Yeah. There was a lot more reflection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, the thing is that it's come a long way uh, in technology. Um, Anti-reflective coatings are put on through metal oxides that are more or less vacuum uh, compressed onto the lenses. It's like incorporated into the lens material these days versus it was like 30, 40 years ago. It used to be something that was kind of like painted onto the surface of the lens. Right. It's not quite like that anymore. Yep. I remember having glasses where they 
something was kind of peeling off. Mm. I don't know if that was it, but it, it very well could have been. Um, there are certain lens uh, lens treatments that are used to be kind of more put onto the lenses in that form, but now everything these days is usually kind of incorporated into the lens material itself. Sure, sure. 